we just went for a nice walk in Cherokee Park. And now it is time to do the Logmas things. Trader Joe's Advent. It's day five. There it is. It's a little chocolate star. That one's raspberry, I think. Mm, no, this is Trader Joe's. So it's very vaguely milk chocolate flavored. <laughs> Stickers. Space cap. Oh, they're cute otters dressed up as Alice in Wonderland things. It's by Gina Draws and it's Lack the Otter. A little otter Cheshire cat various Alice in Wonderland otter based characters. Very cute. Let's put that back in there. Godiva. That's six. We need five. There's five. Oh, so this one is probably the most melted one from transit. It has fully formed a blob in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. It's just blobbing out. It's like a little drop of the hut. So I'm gonna have to extract that with like a knife implement, I believe. So who knows what that chocolate was supposed to be. Coffee, I don't know that we'll make it today. We might make it later today. We might make it tomorrow because we already had coffee but I did pre-look and see that it was an espresso one. So we'll do lattes with it because we had some coffee on our walk and thermoses. Smells nice. It is Monsoon Malabar and it says it should taste like cocoa, spice, and cedar and it suggests doing AeroPress or espresso. So we'll probably do it in the mocha pot for lattes. Yarn. Ooh, it's pinky. Nice little mauve pink. It kind of like goes with my sweater very nicely. It's like a dusty rose situation. Ooh, yarn. Lovely. Let's see what it's called and what it's dyed with. It is called Wicked Stepmother and it is naturally dyed with red pine and lac. Cool. Show you the little current yarn situation. So far, I really like them, but I might take this like Green Bay Packers looking one out of whatever the final finished object is. We'll see if there's other ones that are really like bright, like bright and contrasty like this. I might keep it in there. Who knows? But right now, like these are like kind of nice muted tonals and this one's like wacky. So we will see what the whole deal looks like. I usually like to wait until I've opened all of the advent yarn to decide what to make because if something surprises you and like doesn't look good in the project you're intending that's a bummer um but that's all the admins for today aside from buttercup's advent um we are going to eat lunch right now and then we're going to go to covington to visit herophany and hedge which is my favorite witch shop um they do not let you take videos inside but i will take like a couple just horizontal format pictures um, that I can pop in like a collage here so you can see it because it's really cool in there. And that's pretty much the plans for today. Then we're just gonna come back. It's kind of a long drive, so we'll knit in the car and then we will come back and just like chill. These are our plans.
Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we bought Roths today. We did. We went to Herophany and Hedge and mm -hmm. had an adventure and got some rocks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show them off. Yeah. So this is my fancy rock. I wanted to unwrap it now. Mm -hmm. They package everything so nice. They package everything super nice. It's like ridiculous to a degree. I don't think we got anything with the wax seal. But if you get a book, they like put a wax seal on it. It's very spiffy. Ooh, it's I pretty. I got a purple rock tower. What's the name of the rock I got? Lapidolite. Lapidolite. It's supposed to help with nightmares, which is something I suffer from regularly. So I thought this would be a nice portable souvenir to take home. It's small, it's not too heavy, and it will hopefully help me with a problem I have. It's also your favorite color. It is also my favorite color to look at. It's so pretty. It's lavender. Lavender. Mm hmm Show everybody some of your treasures. Um, I got a candle. I didn't see what candle you got. I got one of the beeswax candles. Ooh, the fun, the very mm -hmm. aesthetic ones. The very aesthetic ones. Like everything in their shop isn't very aesthetic. I didn't get the drippy ones because oh. those were like very pricey. Mm -hmm. But I got from this nice, it just like good. solid ass beeswax smell? candle. No, no, I was talking to the people in the... You mm -hmm. can smell the... Uh, and smell the waxiness. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is just for my, my witch altar space. Mm -hmm. Pop on there, have a nice beeswax candle for mm -hmm. for burning things. And then we got matching rocks. We did get matching rocks. And a nice pretty little bag, and the purveyor of these rocks handled them with little tongs very carefully, so as to, I don't know, preserve the vibes of the rocks. Mm -hmm. I appreciated the attention to detail. We got to select our rocks on little velvet lined trays. I felt very special. We got rainbow moonstones. Yeah. Mine is a face. <laughs> it has a little Ghibli face. He looks like a Kodama from Princess Mononoke, which we just watched. Mm hmm. Yeah, and yours has a nice rainbow flashing part. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, well, in the corner there. It's very pretty. Rainbow moonstones. I do enjoy moonstones of all kinds. I think they're pretty. They are pretty. And I want to start trying to do pocket rocks like Emily does. Pocket rocks are great. But had, um, where did I put it? Oh, yeah, I have been flipping. fiddling in my pocket with my divination coin from Emily's Kickstarter. It's been a really good fiddle thing while we just argued about which Star Wars movie was the worst. Mm -hmm. Opinions vary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have different one that we think is the yeah, worst. We, have a, we, have a, we all hate a different Star Wars movie most. I guess. No, are Chad and I the same? Maybe. Clone Wars. Yeah, it's the same. But maybe Revenge of the Sith. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the names of the sequels, but I hate the second one in the sequels the most. Last Jedi? Yeah. Definitely yeah. not the Christmas special, though. The Christmas special? <laughs> Is that last year that we watched that at Vlogmas? It's so bad. Don't watch it. It's, it's... I've only seen parts. I oh, it's embarrassing. Exciting. Being a Star Wars fan is the most embarrassing fandom I've ever been a part of. Mm -hmm. Really? I... You're a Supernatural fan. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think the Star Wars fandom is slightly more toxic than the Supernatural fandom. Slightly. Mm -hmm. Supernatural fair. fandom's pretty bad. The Rick and Morty fandom is pretty toxic. But I, I'm not like a part of the Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty fandom. Morty fandom. I just, just like Rick, Rick and, and Morty. Morty. Yeah. Which, by the way, is a lot funnier now that you can tell they've got some writers who aren't like cishet white dudes. Oh, absolutely. Having learned the phrase from latest season of Rick and Morty just made my life that much better. I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> I don't know if I can put that on the internet. <laughs> so good though. You can bleep it out. I will. Yeah, just put a good bleep on there and let the internet wonder what backwards Rick and Morty taught me. Excellence. Well, that's it for this vlog. <laughs>